Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a video today and I didn't exactly know what I wanted to make, but a few thoughts have been going through my head recently and I decided to just kind of write them out because that's usually how I deal with things. Um, I love to write, it's one of my biggest passions. And I figured I would just read something that I posted on my Tumblr that I wrote about vulnerability. If this video doesn't seem to interest you, be my guest, click out. You shouldn't, but anyway. Also, if you didn't know, I have a Tumblr. I have a personal Tumblr, but I also have a Tumblr that's more so about self-love and taking care of your mental health. And I'll link that in the description below because that means the world to me. Rarely share it with anybody, uh, but I decided this will be its first debut. And I hope you guys don't mind that I'm reading from my computer because I, I don't memorize the things that I write but maybe you could even just minimize this and have it playing in the background or something and just listen to what I'm saying if that's distracting you. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. Here goes. Vulnerability part one. For the longest time, I thought being vulnerable meant I was weak. I thought showing someone just how much I cared or how hurt I was made me an unstable or weak person. I actually believed showing the people I loved all the pieces inside of me would give them the opportunity to destroy me. In fear of just that, vulnerability, I became everything I was scared of. I started to hurt people around me, pushing them farther and farther away from me. I chose to push people away, to create a buffer zone, a bubble if you will, that I naively thought would protect me from being hurt. In my fight to maintain distance between my injured soul and someone else's, I understood exactly what I was doing. I had a chance to experience much needed space and understood which paths I needed to take and why. But with all of this discovery, I discovered one more thing. Every single path I had to take to get out of that negative space required vulnerability. After years of believing I was an open book, I realized I had to do something I had never done. I had to open myself up and embrace being potentially hurt. It scared the shit out of me. But for once, I had to practice what I preached to my friends when they felt this way. I had to just trust myself. Trust my ability to ignore judgment to heal myself. Trust the strength I have always had. If you ask those close to me what I seem to be most scared of, some will say fire, others will say wasps. Some of you reading this can probably relate, or some of you watching this. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I have never been burned. I have never placed wood in a fireplace. I have never even lit a match. Why am I scared, you ask? My entire life, I have feared what could happen. I fear what could happen if I ever end up being stung by a wasp, which has never happened, by the way. But the most important part about fear is how strong we are to just face our fears once and for all. Face your demons, face your vulnerability. Fear will become experience. Experience will become a lesson, and a lesson will make you so much stronger. Okay, so... Um, that's part one, I guess. Um, it's linked on my Facebook page if any of you want to check it out. Um, the full piece is on my Tumblr, and like I said, I'll link that below. I hope you enjoyed it, and whoever's watching this right now, I thank you for clicking on this video. Share it with your friends, your family, anyone. I mean, it helped me, and that's all that really matters, but just figured I would share it. Okay guys, have a really good day. Love you.